Hello Spider-Man fans, thanks so much for clicking on the video, my name is 4K Films, we recently just got the official Spider-Man No Way Home poster, which took long enough, but what I'm going to be doing here for you guys is breaking down, pointing out stuff that are, such as easter eggs, little clues here and there, and maybe something that will either disappoint you guys, or hype you guys, because it personally hyped me, but without further ado, let's stop wasting your time and get into the poster. So this is the official Spider-Man No Way Home poster, and obviously, it does look sick. There are lots of easter eggs and clues to notice off the bat. One thing I just want to say before we get into anything is, why the Iron Spider suit again? Stop overusing this. I know in Infinity War, seeing it for the first time, him fighting aliens was cool, but they've overused it so much. I hopefully we see it get demolished and crushed because I am fully sick of this suit. It just annoys me and makes me hate it even more every time I see it. But let's get into the actual poster. One thing I want to point out, guys, is that in some of the Empire shots that we got of Doc Ock's tentacles, they were uh, red and gold, and that gives me an idea that uh, Do Dr. Octopus's tentacles were actually... Uh, actually consumed Peter's tentacles and that's why we can't see them in this poster maybe they, it has to do with so, something related to that but I just wanted to get out of the way so we can get into the real poster let me know if you guys agree with me or not but first off let's get a recap of what happened this week so this week we did get a poster similar to this and I'm gonna put a side by side right here show you guys that they are very similar not there are a lot of differences but they're quite similar the bus one was released just a week ago before we got the new official one and obviously there are a lot of similarities and lots of differences so let's get into the differences one the first thing we can start off with is that peter doesn't have his iron t uh, spider tentacles on him and uh, that probably tells me that my theory about Doc Ox, uh, Doc Ock, like eating all the ten, uh, uh, eating, uh, like consuming all the tentacles, might be true. Another thing we also can see is that the upside down New York isn't in the background for the official poster, which tells me that uh, whoever made this poster, the bus one, did a pretty good job because he almost tricked all of us in thinking this was the real poster. Now let's get into the similarities. One thing we can obviously see is that they're both doing the same pose. They're both standing on the same debris, and but it's just different colors on the official poster. But those are just the similarities and differences. Now getting into the official official poster and getting you uh, giving you guys the breakdown. Now obviously the first thing we can see, if you look closely, very very closely. There's a certain someone behind Peter, and that is obviously William Defoe's Green Goblin. And my god, did they pull this suit right out of the Sam Raimi movies, because he looks beautiful. I know this doesn't really tie in well with the new Goblin suit leaks that we got almost a few days ago. Maybe he upgrades them later on in the movie, but I'm so happy seeing that this design is still being used in the movie some plot leaks we got was when peter was in feast because obviously feast is in this uh, movie now since we saw the feast truck and it, and the feast um uh, t-shirt in the spider-man no way home trailer some leaks have been saying is that that's where he meets william defoe's green goblin and tells him that dr strange is trapping us in this prison and want them to go back to the reality but they can't because if they do the other spider-mans will kill them and that's what and they trick him uh, they trick him into helping him escape out of the prison and that's why we see dr strange and peter parker fighting in the mid-air maybe in the upside down new york who knows but that is the green goblin leak N not leak but <laughs> Like the Green Goblin clue in the poster. Now let's get into the other obvious one, which is the lightning in the back, which re obviously resembles Electro. And Electro will be more comic accurate this time, played by the same actor who played Electro in The Amazing Spider-Man 2, Jamie Foxx. And I think they picked a 
great actor to bring back again. Because if they were going to bring back an actor, thank God it was Jamie Foxx. Because I don't really see anyone else playing Electro. And uh, what's called, we did get some suit leaks of uh, his suit a long time ago. It does look like he will be wearing a fireman jacket this time. That does look good. Don't know if they're going to fully turn him into that comic actor. Uh, suit later on in the movie hopefully they don't i feel like it would look too cringy and too weird but now let's get into the ob other obvious one which is the sandman now with the sandman people were really hesitant on thinking he wasn't confirmed but now with the poster we know that he is confirmed and now that we know he's confirmed and we know he's from sam raimi's universe I don't think he's going to be much of a bad guy because if you remember, he agreed to stop fighting with Spider-Man, to, uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. So maybe in this movie, he might fight, uh, fight Tom Holland Spider-Man, but maybe when he sees Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, he doesn't want to fight him and probably uh, goes on their side and uh, helps, uh, the, helps defeat the Sinister Six. But to be fair with you guys, we only see four villains in this uh, poster. So, who are the two other villains? People are speculating. Uh, if you didn't watch Venom, Let There Be Carnage, there is going to be spoilers, what I'm about to say in 3, 2, 1. People are speculating that it's Venom. People are speculating that it's Rhino. Who fully knows? Hopefully, it is a, a villain we've seen before. Hopefully, maybe it is Rhino from The Amazing Spider-Man. Maybe we can finally see him and that a cliffhanger of a fight they kept us on the amazing spider-man 2 but i want to know how you guys feel about this poster do you like it do you hate it you're somewhere around the middle do you, did you catch anything else that i can catch in this poster let me know anything and everything down in the comments below as always i'm Porky films take care